Hi, I'm Mia and I really like this school and to learn Chinese and I go to the school. Yeah. Hello, I'm Joseph. I live here in Hampton, so I normally bike to school. And I'm 10 years old and I'm a student of Boyo Public School. Hi, my name is Maya and I go to Boyo Public School and it's, I live near her and I really like this school. It's like we, it helps us to learn better Chinese and to understand if we were like in Hong Kong walking around the city, we could use that because it's just, it's really good. And I really like learning in Chinese math. Well, sometimes I think that learning math in Chinese can be fun because, well, math is almost like its own language. And for example, algebra, you can do many things and algebra is almost its own language, like English and Chinese, so yeah. I think it's good using Cantonese because sometimes you might need it when you're in a store or like those places. Um, but sometimes I think it's hard using Cantonese because you don't get the words or you don't get the sentences. So. Sometimes I think English would be also um, I practiced my Chinese um, and I asked the teacher what it means. So that helped a lot. Yeah, for studying, but we normally like use our own textbooks and my mom's not Chinese, so she I have to probably ask the teacher first and then she'll explain it to me. Then I can tell like my mom this is how you need to do it and then she can help me because she's like oh I learned that but she was learning in English so but it's kind of good it's not super hard because the numbers are in English and so she can just look at the numbers and know what to do because math you don't really like you need to read the question but sometimes just the numbers you can say oh this is like plus so I know what to do and yeah. Um, when I ask my mom how to do times tables sometimes, when I times two digits times two digits, um, when we do bowling, she does bowling later and I do it at first. So I think it's very different and it's harder for me. Yeah. Have you ever argued with your parents? Sometimes when that happens. So then how do you feel about this difference? Do you have any preference or you think, mm, okay, both are fine? Um, I think it's a fine. Yeah, it's it's also um, like the times, like Maya said, so my mom normally does it on the second line, so later, and I do it on the first line. So um, sometimes I she gets like a different answer and that's, sometimes the correct answer and then I say but I was taught like that and it's like different but it's okay because um, I'm learning and I like my Chinese way. Um, so maybe if you're going to the mall with your friends and you have a lot of people coming and there's only like three cars then you have to see how many seats they're in, counting, and like t dividing how many people can go in one car, and yeah, um, like that. When you're going to shops, and you need to calculate how much money it is in total, and yeah. Well, um, like the questions where they ask maybe. Um, it's like a big question, but they normally do the Chinese at the top and then we have to write the like the key sentence and then there's normally English um, But it's sometimes harder Because that it's like a long question and you have to figure it out and Yeah, it's kind of difficult sometimes for me. Yeah, I usually try to guess what the word means or otherwise, I just go to a different question and go back to that question later. Well, they normally give us like the 
keywords and all those other really important ones that we use to understand them. You just like kind of need to know the plus and minus because if it's only in Chinese sentences, then they write the English numbers. So like maybe it's like 50 times 70. Then you have to only know the times word because otherwise you can think it's plus and get the wrong answer. I normally do it by myself because I, if I don't know, then I normally ask my teacher before I leave. But if it's too late, then um, I just um, try and ask my mom. If I don't, she doesn't know, then I'll go to school early and then try to do it. Ask maybe my friends if they know. Yeah. And also, if we forget to ask the teacher when we leave school and our parents are busy or something, um, you can normally just stay after school with them and uh, do that subject that you're having trouble doing. I usually ask my parents, mostly my mom, but then if she really doesn't know, I ask my dad and, and they help me or I ask my friends if they don't have time. A little bit, but if most of it is in Chinese, I can have um, trouble, su trouble sometimes doing it. For algebra, it's kind of more easy than other ones because you don't really need to know what, like if there's Chinese above it, it's kind of like it could just be x um, plus 5 equals like 10, then I don't know, I don't really know how to do the questions, but then you just need to know how to answer it because that's kind of kind of easy because you don't really need to know any Chinese about it. And if I had to choose between Chinese and English, I prefer English because it's my uh, main language. But sometimes it's fun to learn a new language when you're doing math and it can help sometimes in your daily life especially if you live in Hong Kong. And it's also kind of fun to tell your friends that you know how to speak Chinese.